In this question, a bullet is fired horizontally aiming at an object which starts falling at the instant that the bullet is fired as shown in the figure. The position A is taken as origin and the bullet speed 10 meter per second. If the bullet hits the object one second after, then the coordinates of the point where it hits is. Dear students, in this case, the object would start falling vertically downward and bullet will take a parabolic trajectory and then hit the particle. Now, dear students, in this case, the vertical initial velocity is zero and it is given that the collision takes place one second after the projection. Then this distance can be calculated as the distance traveled in one second in free fall, which will be equal to half into g into t square where t is one. This will be equal to five meters. Now, dear students, to find out this particular distance, we must acknowledge that the horizontal acceleration of the bullet would be zero and the horizontal distance traveled by the bullet will be simply its speed multiplied by the time that is one second. Here the speed is given as 10. So if this is x, then x will be equal to 10 into 1 that is 10 meters. And hence the coordinates of this point will be 10 comma minus 5, meaning that for this question the correct answer is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 42. Question 42 says that length and breadth of a rectangular sheet are given as these two quantities that is 9 plus minus 0 0.3 centimeter and 4 plus minus 0 0.1 centimeter respectively. Then the square root of area of the sheet up to the correct significant figure will be. Dear students, the area of the sheet will be length into breadth. Let there be another quantity z which will be root of area that is root lb. The true value of z will be under root of 9 into 4 that will be 6 centimeters. Now dear students, from the rules of fractional error, delta z by z will be half into delta l by l plus delta v by b, which means that delta z will be equal to z by 2 delta l by l plus delta v by b. Substituting the values, delta z will be equal to 6 by 2, delta l is 0 0.3, so 0 0.3 by 9 and delta b is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 by 4. This turns out to be equal to 0 0.175 and that can be rounded off to 0 0.2 and therefore dear students the correct answer for this question is 6 plus minus 0 0.2 centimeters and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 43. Question 43 says the displacement time graph of a particle moving on the x-axis is shown in the figure. Choose the correct option among the following. The students, among the given options, the correct answer is option number 4 because both 1 and 3 are correct. The first statement says that the particle speeds up and slows down two times. This is a correct statement as we consider this following graph because the slope of position time graph gives velocity. Now dear students, option number 3 is also correct as it says that particle comes to momentarily rest twice. It is also true because the particle comes to rest at these two particular points. And hence for this question the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us move to question number 44. Question 44 says the man tries to cross the river and reach point P on the opposite bank of the river as shown. Then the minimum speed relative to water and the direction of swimmer at O so that he can reach B is. Dear students, let the man try to swim in this direction with the speed V. The net speed of the man or the velocity of the man should be along the line OB. The velocity of the man with respect to ground can be written as, if this angle is taken as theta, then it would be U minus V sin theta I cap plus V cos theta J cap. Now dear students, for the velocity of man to be along this line, tan 30 should be equal to j component by i component that is v cos theta by u minus v sin theta which on simplification gives that v would be equal to u by root 3 cos theta plus sin theta. This will be further equal to u by 2 sin theta plus 60. Now dear students, 
the value of v will be minimum when sin theta plus 60 is 1. So therefore the minimum value of v will be equal to u by 2 and for sin theta plus 60 to be equal to 1, theta should be equal to 30 degree as sin 90 is 1 and theta plus 60 is 90 so theta will be 30 degrees. Please note that we have to find out the direction relative to the water current. Now dear students the angle that we have to find out is this angle. So the angle would be equal to phi that is 90 plus 30 that will be equal to 120 degree and hence for this question the correct answer should be option number 1. Now let us solve the question number 45. The student's question 45 says if water drops are falling at regular intervals from a ceiling at a height 80 meters from the floor. If drops are falling at the intervals of 1 second then the height of third drop from the floor when the first drop reaches the floor is. Dear students, the first drop reaches the floor in time which can be calculated as t is equal to under root 2h by g where h is the height of the ceiling. So this will be 2 into 80 by 10 and hence this will be equal to 4 seconds. Now dear student, the third drop would have travelled a total time of 2 seconds when the first drop would have reached the ground because after 2 seconds only the third drop would be released and hence the distance travelled by the third drop would be half into g into t square where t is 2 so that will be half into 10 into 2 square and dear student this will be equal to 20 meters. The height from the ground can be written as 80 minus 20 that will be 60 meters and therefore for this question the correct answer is option number 1. Dear student this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of the final test series first test code B. I hope you understood all the questions. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming examinations and all the future endeavors. I thank you all for watching and God bless you all. Mm -hmm.